We're in, in, in wars. In Nobody beats us 4 0 in the Benz, all right? Nobody does that, okay? <laughs> so we need that is my grudge match for next year, man. <laughs> Those are some really hot takes. I love Super it. Hot. Um <laughs> I, I like I like where your head's at, Tunji. I really Thank do. Thank you. Often. Thank you. You're gonna love mm. this. I wanna hear it. I'm objective, you're critical. And a co at the disco. He's talking. Mm-hmm. Join the mixtape 615. <laughs> Today, tomorrow, yesterday, it is the dopest <laughs> supporter group <laughs> in all of Nashville. Never! Skate! Testing, testing. Woo. Three, two, one. Yo, this is a mixtape 615, and this right here, right now, is the place to be. If you are. A Nashville soccer club fan. If you love Nashville and you love all of her soccer ways, or you're just trying to learn a little bit more, we want you in the mix. We want everybody right now in the mix. It's your boy Tungi. Here it go. AKA Young Turtle D Soccer Face SF Doom, the big kahuna munching on a little tuna sandwich. Hey, cuando estoy en la República Dominicana, la gente, la gente, oh. me llama Steam Papi. Steam Papi, por favor, gracias. Hey, I am too wow. late on a Wednesday night because it's half off Whiskey Wednesdays at Southside Casual Kitchen and Pub. This is ridiculous because I just got a paycheck, all right? Let's Ooh. go. Hey, I be sipping my ties on beach and Louise, feeling cool like a summer breeze, a.k.a. the only dude you know who takes his Jordan ones to the cleaner because they got to be crispy. The golden boy with the golden voice. And you know what they call me in Chicago, man. When I'm, you know, I, I got the hot dog and it's only got mustard on it. Chicago Mike. And this is a Mixtape 615 podcast. Ooh. Yo, Austin, tell them who you are. What is up, everybody? I am Austin, a.k.a. Wild Man. You know who it is. It's on the back of my jersey. Uh, a.k.a. Ginger Snap. Snap. A.k.a. Where are we going to go? Chicky Chicky. Palm, 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 aka the fumbling <laughs> Dublin, aka Red Beard. Arg. Give me that. Arg. <laughs> Arg. <laughs> there we right, go. That's officially a pirate right. nickname, dude. <laughs> Red Beard. Red Beard. It is, yeah. All yeah. right. I like Logan, it. tell him who you are. We got. Well, you guys know it is Logan, aka Beer Main. You. Yep. On the back of my jersey first. See. Um, <laughs> and then. I'm known as Mr. Roboto Tomo to these two. <laughs> I also am known as Coach Carson to my boys. Nice. Who play basketball with me. It's great. This is the Mixtape 615 experience brought to you by the Mixtape 615 supporter group, the dopest supporter group it's in dopest, all bro. of Nashville. I don't even know what to if tell you want to jump in with us, nope. if you want to make sure that you follow us on all of our, in, our uh, social medias, but make sure you jump in with us into this mix because we want you with us running this pitch mm-hmm. this year. Yep. We want you all with us with that. So Need jump you. in at Mixtape615.com. That is Mixtape615.com. You can join us in with a family or an individual account and get a new 2024 scarf jump in with our tailgates have a lot of fun at our way watch parties it's a blast and there is a ton that we can get into today everything from geo reyna officially joining nottingham forest as of seven hours ago according to this according uh, as of this recording time what and <laughs> dallas officially beating Miami to start off their international run. Miami's international run for a preseason because they decided they wanted to go on a world tour for it. But we're going to bring it all back into Nashville because there is a ton of stuff going on when it comes to Nashville soccer. There's the drama. There's the readiness for what's to come. And we are excited to jump into that. So, Austin, take it away, my friend. Yeah, we are getting started and we're going to kick this off with some drama. Uh, If you've been paying attention to social media, uh, X has been all over it. Um, Dax McCarty, Nashville SC's first captain. Oh, captain, my captain. Um, (laughs) He is now with Atlanta, but actually on um, the Major League Journeyman uh, podcast, he talked a little bit about the contract Um, negotiations that kind of went south and why Nashville ended up uh, not re-signing him. So let's take a listen to that real quick. I was at at certain times last year, late summer, right? Going into September, October, 
I, I was like 95, 96, 97 percent positive that like I was going to be signing a new deal with National SC for another season and, and hoping to, to continue to contribute here and, and play for this team. Um, after League's Cup final, you know, the, the club had approached me and, and they were, I think, trying to plan what they wanted to do. And, and they had they had asked me what my plans were. And I said, look, I feel good. I, I feel like I'm still contributing at a, a good level with the team. And you know, I love the game. I love the club. I love the city. I would love to continue playing if that's what you guys see, right? And and there was alignment there. The team made me uh, an offer and it wasn't disrespectful. Um, it was another pay cut, but it was one where I, I could I could look at it and say, all right, there's probably a deal here. Like we can probably come to an, a, a reasonable agreement here, right? And so th the way that everything transpired was just pretty strange, guys. I have to say it felt like just a weird miscommunication of sorts. Um, but you know, we, we went back and forth. And so, and so my camp, we said, okay, well, here's our counter offer and, and the club said, well, we don't think we can do that. Okay. I'll come down again. Here's, here's another counter. I'll, I'll counter myself. You know, you wait till the end of the season. And then all of a sudden it's like, well, Hey man, like we're, we're, we're moving on. Right. And I said, well, where's, what about the negotiation we were in? I thought we were in a negotiation and apparently we weren't. Right. And so that's where that for me, it just felt like the communication between both parties, right? It, it probably could have been clear. It probably could have been more concise. And my only thing was that, like, from Nashville SC's perspective, if, if they didn't want to go from their initial offer, if they didn't want to go any higher than that, the only thing that, I guess, doesn't sit so well with me is the fact that, like, they never really gave me or communicated a best and final offer to me or, like, a deadline for when they needed to know by. All right. So that was Dax McCarty on Major League <sighs> Journeyman. And, Yikes. man... Yeah, this was uh, this was hard uh, because Dax did so much for uh, for the club um, came in, was the first captain. Uh, I thought he had one of his best um, showings last season for yep. Nashville. Um, we were lost without him in the midfield. So, Tunji, what's your takeaway after hearing kind of how Nashville did him dirty? Oh, man, dude. So. The problem was here's 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 where it was, truly and, and and purely, NSC showed like back front office. Sorry, that team showed a complete lack of organization, a complete lack of like like. Are you guys running a serious operation here? You're not like communicating to Dax freaking McCarty. Yeah, like yeah. if you want him on the team or not next year, get out of it. Like, are you serious? I don't know, man. Like that, it's it's terrible but here's the cold hard truth of it man it's a numbers game right like yeah. dax was getting older his legs had less like running time left in them right they couldn't say up front to this man what they should have just said you're getting older and we need to get younger we don't yeah. have a lot of space for you on the team. The man is coming back, giving counter offer after counter offer, and they're sitting here like, "Oh no, we'll we'll get back to Dax." That's that's the captain, yeah. man, and he played his heart out. That you got to have a little bit more respect for that. I understand the decision, but the way they handle it is it's 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 I don't know, man. It's juvenile. It's, yeah. it's dude. Uh. It's it's sad to see an organization drop the ball as hard as they did. Uh, that's one of the things that I've heard said. Uh, and like I, I, I know I kind of alluded to it uh, when we talked about it last, but man, it is so hard to see that from just like a personal side. Like if you're, if you don't want me around, just be upfront about it. You know, they, they want that clarity. I, everybody would want that clarity, that closure, just some kind of, yeah, you know, it's, it's only solidified right. <laughs> front. Yeah, and it's and especially to treat a guy who is who is not only been here for from the beginning of the MLS run that we've had uh, so far, but to have been the first captain, to not only have been the first captain, but to take a pay cut, you know, for twenty twenty two, and then take an additional pay cut by a little over. It looked like a little over, you know. Two hundred thousand dollars for last year to then be offered again another pay cut, and and you're you're looking at a guy who's been in the league for years, and it, are treating him as though he only deserves the the minimum that a player can make, and that's and yes, I understand he's on one year contracts. Yes, I understand he's older, and I agree. I I said it 
early on that I don't think that this man is going to be around for the long haul. But I also said I think it would be more respectful and I think it would be better for the culture of our locker room to bring him on as almost like a player coach, have him as an assistant coach in, in a way and have well, him. Is he's a, if he's a player coach, can he still play? Yes, like, a player coach. I so, mean, yeah, you I, saw, I, don't, I don't know what I honestly don't know what a player coach is. No, you like, saw. I thought that was in, just kind of like a title that you gave to a, a player who can. Who, no, who, you who, like, like just coaches like the other people. No, <laughs> no yeah, you basketball, you see it time. happening more. Yeah. Um, yeah, you don't see it as baseball much in soccer as a player coach, like, quote unquote. Yeah, um, it happened in, uh, with 901 FC uh, with uh, what's his name? Uh, this guy's still talking about Memphis. Goalie. He's still talking about Memphis. <laughs> He's still talking hey. about Memphis, bro. <laughs> it ha- it it's a Nashville with- SC podcast, baby. I'm just saying we <laughs> hey, it happened in soccer before. Yeah. So but ultimately, it's not what it of. comes, yeah. So what it comes down to, though, um, what it sounds like, just from from the you know um, from, from Dax's, Dax's mouth. perspective, I mean, it's it, it was it was a numbers game for Nashville SC because they were constantly telling him no. Mm -hmm. Um, And that doesn't happen. Like if they really wanted Dax there, they would have made it happen. Um, So the writing was on the wall to me. I know Dax said he wanted more clarity and like it sounded like they were going to come to an agreement at the end of the season. But when the can just keeps getting kicked down the road, eventually you've got to see as a player like, okay, writing's on the wall here. They keep saying no to my counter offers. Even like he said, he was counter offering himself. Um, So I don't I don't think that the club was planning on re-signing him i don't like that the club um kind of you know played was wishy-washy with it whatever you want to call it was it you know I mean, um play will play they the won't they kind of thing you know no, um, it's that's dumb so, that's not professional dude but like yeah, that's, that's but, and that's exactly but why we saw this see. makes so much more sense though that's why we saw that's why we're seeing Dax in Atlanta now. You don't do a man dirty like that. Cause he will go to Atlanta and come back <laughs> ready to ride on you, bro. I promise you, man. That's they did that to us. The the front office did not know that like Dax had that kind of sway. He's yeah. like, you know what I mean? It's like, oh, we don't want you don't want to play, you don't want to give me the paycheck? Well, I'll just, you know, I'll just go to Atlanta United of all teams. I really thought that was random until I heard like Dax explain his his situation. Now I know. Yeah. That man is out for he he's out for revenge, being down bro. in the south in the warmer weather, and he didn't want to go up north again. And <laughs> well, I mean, he's you know he he's uh, he's from Florida, uh, and I, Atlanta is closer. But I don't think that's the reason he's there anymore, bro. I'm pretty sure he's there. <laughs> yeah. he's, he's there, there for he's, he's there to make sure that he's there to make he, sure that we don't get all of our hopes and dreams alive while he's still in the MLS. I mark my words mark my if words you, if you listen to the podcast he did say that was a plus because he's closer to his parents they're getting up there in years they'd be closer to the grandkids but that's not the reason that's not it bro that's, that's not nowhere it. near the reason he went there he, they, he, they watch they, him they single-handedly saw, stop our uh our um concacaf champions cup run dude watch dude. it watch him do it oh man watch him but, do it <laughs> but look at this like uh, another thing to realize is that the, atlanta picked him up and this is something he said that they saw in him that he thought nashville had seen and was going to continue to use in him which is his veteran leadership that he had I agree that that was the glue that kept us together last year while we were limping in the second half of the season he is that glue that kept us together when it comes to that locker room. And it is detrimental without him, uh, I think. And it's going to be, it, it can it has the potential to be a absolute nightmare without that kind of leadership in the locker room. And Atlanta didn't have it. And I think that they're going to easily be able to use it. Well, I mean, look, Gary said it himself, dude. He said, we don't know who we are without Dax McCarty. But I know I know that you said that he's the glue. Look, we don't need that glue anymore. That's what nobody is saying out loud. We need depth. And that's what's going to yeah. get us through what I hope is a we successful tournament. Guns. And that's what we're going to talk about next. And we're back from what an, an illustrious break we just had. And, you know, we've we've heard some stuff. We've heard some stuff from the other side, uh, from Mocha FC. We've uh, what the real question is that we have to approach right now is 
is Nashville SC, is Gary's team ready for its first international tournament, man? If you guys don't know, Nashville SC uh, is playing, it's starting its season a little bit early. We are playing in the Dominican Republic for the first round of the CONCACAF Champions Cup, the CCC, formerly known as a CCL. I think most people want to call it CCL, but I like CCC. What do you guys think? <laughs> Triple C. Uh, Triple C. C3. <laughs> C3. Yeah. So there's so many ways like you can C have fun with it, dude. I don't know, man. People C is keep, it C squared? People don't like change, No, no, no. Bro. CQ. Problem, CQ. CQ. People just don't <laughs> like change. But here's here's the thing, man. I, I'm going to be real with y'all, man. I don't know if Natural SC is ready for this tournament. One, you know, you guys all know I'm going down there February 22nd. That's my birthday. I'm going to go watch the game. The DR. Everyone's well, welcome. 22nd, I think, is the one. No, 28th is the one here, right? 22nd is there. 28th is here. It's his is birthday. Here. We know exactly. that. Right. Established this. And I called the team and they, because <laughs> I'm trying to get tickets. I have my flight. I have my hotel, but I can't get tickets, bro. I don't know what to no, do. No, no. I called so the, the team ticket, and they're like, you have to be in the DR to get, like, the link works. So, yeah. So, like, most, they they are working on that. I know. Yeah, uh, I know I they're working. They need to work faster. They're That's what I'm talking it. about, bro. Like, how are they? How is it like a month out and I still can't get tickets? And you expect yeah. me to think that you guys are going to do well in this tournament, bro? Get your stuff together, <laughs> National SC, man. No, is, there, what, is their website still available? For I don't purchase? know anymore, bro. I don't know anymore. Do you? Do you, <laughs> dumb you know, Logan. Logan. Actually, Austin, bro. What? Do you think that's <laughs> Why you got to psych me out like that? You, we were all because I can do ready. it. Because I can do it. <laughs> Austin, do you think that, like, what should we as fans expect, bro, from Nashville SC, um, from this organization? Because that's who they are until until we start seeing them play. They're the organization right now. The players, yeah, I haven't personally. seen them yet. <laughs> Yeah, personally, um, as long as like what we talked about last week, if we see some chemistry coming from this preseason, uh, I do think that Nashville has the squad to come out of the first round. I don't think that Mocha FC is on that level yet. Now, the DR is getting better, um, but they were still third in the uh, Caribbean Cup. Uh, in the CONCACAF Caribbean Cup. So they mm. were still third. They still didn't even make it to the final. Um and I think that just with the play, the level of play, the level of players, uh, I do think that Nashville SC has the squad to make it out of the first round. That second round's where it might get tricky, but we can talk about that. <laughs> it's tricky. <laughs> well, yeah. yeah it's tricky, 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 <laughs> tricky. This, is fourth, this is the fourth team out of the DR in recent years to be able to play in the CONCACAF Champions Cup. Hmm. So that is important to also note yeah. That yeah, they they may not we some of us may feel that oh it's the DR they they're up and coming they're still working on it. I don't know. I don't but feel man, that way. Do you feel that way? Yeah, <laughs> I mean, I'm just saying some of the, some people may but like I don't this is not going to be an easy I don't think this is this is going to be 100% an easy an easy task to go through. Yeah, dude, that's why I want I want to go see it with my own eyes, bro. I need to go see how yeah. we if how we operate on foreign soil, bro. Cause I'm and I'm not taking any of these teams for granted, dude. Like wow. just because they're Mocha FC and their website doesn't work and they let go of half their team. <laughs> you can't I'm get not, tickets. I don't know. I don't know what they got, bro. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're, I don't well, know what they got. So I, I'm gonna go down there. You guys will I'll, I'll tell you what I see with my eyes. Don't believe anything you hear on the internet until I I, I verify it. All right. Yo, We're on Logan, the internet. What, <laughs> <laughs> Logan, what what is a, what do you think a win looks like in this tournament for National SC? Like obviously a win, like we win, right? The game, but I'm thinking like symbolically, what what can we walk mm. away with from this tournament feeling good about? Yeah. So a what win should we means, walk away? Yeah, go ahead. A, a win for Nashville SC means a milestone hit. Um, it's that next level hit. Mm. Uh, we know that Walker has been talking that he wants a ring with Nashville. Walker's been talking that general. big talk, bro. He's he wants a ring with Nashville. I think it that is. it is possible to be done, um, but it is it is just another one of those large milestones that could be hit if we get an international win on international soil uh as a club hey it's it is first that international match i mean it really for is natural sc right it's the first, first one on foreign soil yeah. yeah if we win the first one on foreign soil, that to me just like oh okay like we're hit as a nashville it team, shows right? that we're I've, I've watched the like, titans progress business. bro i've watched the titans progress i've watched 
from afar the Preds. <laughs> from from very afar the Preds. But yep. like, you know, now I'm watching Nashville and I'm seeing them as an organization. Yes, they messed up with Dax McCarty. I'm like, that's just one of the I'm like, ah, growing pains, I guess. But they've Figure done that some one out, right man. too. But like overall, like I feel like yeah, they they I haven't seen them have their ups and downs like I've seen with Charlotte or Austin. You know what I'm saying? Like they've been very well, steady. The massive up and downs. Yeah. yeah. Charlotte and Austin I in know. their first couple of years. Yeah. Nashville has not gone through that. Atlanta Nashville's too. Been able to make, yeah. Nashville's been able to make the playoffs all four years that they've been in the MLS. That's steady, huge. consistent. But that they're playing they're playing huge. a weird numbers game that makes a you know, that makes us see a lot of draws doing that. That's why I kind of was like when I looked at the playoffs, the way that they changed the playoff format for last season, I looked at that and I was like, this is built for teams who know how to win, not teams who try and grind out one point here, a draw there, yeah. so we can make it to the MLS MLS playoffs, right? Which it's just such yeah. a low bar for me, you know, um, the way that the MLS playoffs are set. And I like the format switch up because it's built to win, just like the CONCACAF Champions Cup. So that's why I'm saying, like, I want to believe that this team is ready. And I think that if, you know, they, like just like the League's Cup, right? Like they came out and showed us a different side of themselves. So I'm hoping that mm-hmm. that will happen with this. I, you know, and as again, long as don't it take anyone for granted, right? Right at the beginning. So it's yeah. also important to note that these games mm-hmm. are not decided on wins and losses. Mm-hmm. These games are decided on aggregate score. Aggregate scoring. Mm-hmm. Yep. So that's also important. And I think that's also a positive sign for us that we've brought in a lot more of that. At least it feels like, or looks like we're bringing in a more attack style midfield. Mm, yeah. And that's well, we're bringing in attack more of an attacking style midfield. Yes. And we're bringing in death pieces, which is the exact reason what we were just talking about while we lost that yeah. party. I think that they knew that like, Hey, yep. we need way more depth to make it through this next year. Next year is yeah. 2024 is going to be a grueling season. So they traded in Jax. They got in the new, games. Like they got game. in um uh they got Drew in Tyler Yearwood. Boyd, Drew Yearwood. So they the kid they, out of Duke, they mm-hmm. signed him as a good Ford. Yeah, I, I don't know if you guys heard um uh Mike Jacobs on the Club and Country podcast uh earlier earlier today i believe but the way mike he was jacobs, talking mike mike, mike jacobs the uh, the gm for national c yeah. but the, what he was talking about to me signaled that i'm like okay they think that they've done the right moves we've gotten depth and we're not just going to you know try and grind out a win in this tournament but we're going to actually try and last this season and see what we yeah. can he, like he he's talking in a way that's like we gotta get, we're gonna get one of these things watch so yeah that's to oh, me a win to be silverware coming to nashville this year. i'm gonna go so out on a limb thing. bro i'm gonna go on a limb and say a win for in the Concacaf champions cup for nashville a symbolic win is not just beating mocha fc it's going to the miami game. and beating them <laughs> yeah. and then and then i don't care what happens after that we can do that, yeah, that point, no, no, we would host, that's big we would, yeah. i don't think we'd host another game but like, no, no, no no that's massive if we go beat miami yeah, in the big, champions yeah. cup say hey remember how you beat us in the 11th round of pks in the league's cup and we had to watch y'all celebrate with the league's cup trophy and it was on, calendar on it wasn't messy that did we it. don't do that we run this pitch and we yeah. have to run this pitch in the league's cup man let them know bro oh, yeah yeah, well, now, sorry, not the league, not the least coming no, no, no. Champions, the Cup, Champions Cup. Champions Used Cup. Champions Cup. 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 <laughs> um, I think we added the players who can do it. Um, like I was saying, I think our squad's there. Um, it 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 more what what concerns me is is that depth is do we have the players to rotate because we will have to rotate because mm-hmm. it's happening in the middle yeah. of the league it's not like it's it's um you know happening we're taking a, a cup yeah. we're not having a champions cup break you know it's happening right. within the league you know we play mocha fc first leg then we play our opening match in the mls then we play mocha fc second leg like three days later you know so and then we, yeah. and then we play uh, in our <laughs> yeah. next our first away match then if we win we would have somewhere between like the 7th and 13th i think of march play against miami while miami is sitting there twiddling their thumbs only having to do some of the mls matches not Dude. having to play nah, two they're, legs they're bringing the ground. Ground. every miami everybody's playing so everybody's playing a right lot now. of games this year miami is playing a yep. lot of games this yeah. year but i'm saying but it before doesn't... we if if we make it out of the first round we will have two more games beyond that and travel to another country we'll be we'll be very warmed up 
<laughs> we very warmed up, bro. That's the hope. I'm trying to tell you, bro. I'm, we're not taking no more L's against Miami, and that's what no. that's what I think. <laughs> Look, I've got it. There's a few matches next season that I think we all need to like really like focus in on as fans. Yeah, and I I think when we get back from the from the break, we're gonna talk about these grudge uh, grudge matches. I want us to talk a lot about what's coming because we got a lot of games ahead of us this year and we all know it. But when it comes to our regular season, there's games that we're all excited about. I'm sure everyone would be excited about Messi coming to Geodis again, but that's not happening. Bo, um, Bo, Bo, hey, Messi, Bo. It's not going to happen. He's going to be playing for Argentina. Yeah, because we booed him. Because we booed him. He don't want to come back to Nashville. <laughs> he don't want to come back here. He don't want to have to go all the way to – uh, PK all the way the to honky tonk at C just to get booed. He's above this. Yeah. Oh, of course, above it. Yes, no. Uh, but there are a lot of games going to be happening this year, and I know that we all have some takes and some interesting takes from each of us on what we want to see happen, uh, what games we're excited about, and then some other games that we are excited to get some revenge on because there are some times last year we took some hard hits and I know that Tunji, I know that you want some revenge on this. Austin, I know that you want some revenge on this. So I need to hear some hot takes from both of you. Tunji, why don't you start us off, man? Tell me your, your three. I want two games that you're excited to see Mm -hmm. and then one revenge game that you're ready to, (laughs) to take back. Look, man, I I'm gonna just keep it real with you. All of my all of my games that I'm about to tell you are really just grudge matches, and they're two of them are just really petty grudge matches. One is a legit grudge match. <laughs> May 11th, Charlotte FC. Hmm. At Charlotte? Is that at Charlotte? It's at Charlotte. That one's okay. at Charlotte. That's we a played good, them March good, even better. Here. We need to just put the put the conversation to bed with them, dude, because they think <laughs> that they can they can hang with us. They really do. I love the supporters, guys. That is an awesome supporter group you guys got there. Some of the people I met, uh, so amazing, dude. Um, love you guys, but you're not better than us. <laughs> I'm just gonna keep it real with you. <laughs> you're not Charlotte FC is not a better team. So that's why when we show up there. On May 11th, with Mackenzie Gaines, and he scores on oh, on you guys. We're just gonna tell y'all, you know, bless your hearts and point us to the nearest uh, fake hot chicken, uh, you know, shop you got <laughs> up there. Um, six six one five. Check the date. All right, June fifteenth. Right. Red Bulls in New York. <laughs> that is Red another Bulls grudge match for me. Okay, it's yeah. it's a it's a couple reasons, right? One six one five, year right? Way. <laughs> hey, you're bringing yeah, up sure. all of our players we signed. <laughs> I mean, yeah. Are we just are we just going grudge Drew match? Drew Yearwood, his, got, his we grudge match. Well, I, I, it's not really because of that. It's because you know we're gonna one. We lost to them in the the last game last year. Let them yeah. get into the oh, playoffs. Yeah. Just, was just show me too, that we're yeah. not ready. We weren't ready for the playoffs. Then um, we're playing them right after we play Mocha FC in the DR. So we're flying back home. I don't even know if I'm gonna be able to make that game. To be honest that's, with that's you, that's the home game. That's the opening yeah. game. I'm not even trying to make it. That's how close together it is. Game, I think that game is the game that we have to prove against them more well, than any it, other. No, 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 no. It's it's this. Um, it's, it's the six one five day game because we're dude. We're gonna be exhausted, bro. We're it's not. I don't. I'm yeah, not expecting sure. a great game. That even if it is the opening uh, game, the playoffs that season. That's gonna be tough. We're already gonna be like, right. Yeah, we're already. No, no, no. It's. <laughs> No, 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 no. It's just I'm a, talking it's, about that first three game days that we between, played. Yeah, it's three days. The first game we played them oh, is not the going to be enough. So we game, we're going to need that June 15th dude, game to yeah. show them like, hey, that wasn't the real gotcha. us. You just caught but, us with jet lag, and then yeah. and then oh yeah, get here's my real grudge match. May 18th, Atlanta United. <laughs> you guys. You yeah. guys need to remember why we have this. Okay. <laughs> oh, yes. I'm holding up the chair. I've been waiting to this. Oh, I'm holding come up back the on this podcast. Oh. No. That's what I'm ha- that's what I'm doing. All right. Get on YouTube and see what I got, Atlanta. Because look, <laughs> we're I've been waiting to see nobody this beats us four oh in the bends. All right. Nobody does that. Okay. <laughs> so we need that is my grudge match for next year, man. All, all right. right, all right, Austin. Give me uh, g- those are some really hot takes. I love Super it. Hot. Um, 
<laughs> I, I like I like where your head's at, Tony. I really Thank do. You. Austin, Thank you. Let Let me get a little taste of what's going on in your thinker. What games do you got? Um, so one of the games that I'm excited about is going to be the LA Galaxy on March 10th. Uh, I want to see you know Tyler Boyd against his his uh, old team. So Man, see what uh, he's got, talking. see what he brings. Uh, well, when you've got movement, you want to see the return, but it's not yeah. going to be a return <laughs> in LA. It'll be a return, uh, you know, just against his former team. But that's one of the ones that I'm looking forward to. I think it's going to be uh, a good match. Um, because LA Galaxy is a good team. They're, they've got the history. Um, but is this is this Galaxy's first time at Geodis as well? No, this is not Galaxy's first time. This isn't Galaxy's first time at Geodis? I would, I would okay. be surprised. But no, like they it's, came, they it's going to be their uh, worst time at Geodis. <laughs> uh, they were here in 2022. 2022. Yeah. Okay, so yeah. they were there the first season. That's right, because we were in we were in um, Western yeah, we, Conference. We, we, they'll, they'll yeah, that's about, right. We got to talk that's about the Western right. Conference days because we ran it. <laughs> ran it over there. We go run it over here. All right, we're so that's one of the West, ones that I'm looking West, forward East. to. Um, second one I'm looking forward to, uh, this one's more of a grudge match as well, is um, when we go into Miami, right? We're going into okay. Miami, mm-hmm. April 20th. Messi will be there that match. I okay. want to see us take it to him at his own, uh, on his own pitch, right? With, I want to see Nashville go in. Barcelona and, team. Yeah, we, I want to see him uh, beat the Barcelona retirement team. Um, so. <laughs> the, the Barcelona retirement team. That is, it, yo, is no yo. Longer, it is no longer into Miami. CM, no, people. it's it is Barcelona's retirement team. You know, you this know what is, they say, this man. Their, this real, is their real G's, team. real G's don't die. They just, they just get old retired and move to Florida. Miami. <laughs> <laughs> they retired. <Florida. laughs> they were, you know, <laughs> yep, this yep. But old. my grudge match, oh. my big grudge match, my revenge match is going to be um, either May 29th. I think it's Ooh. May 29th. Let me double check that. Ooh. Yeah, May 29th. We got that one, but really the September 21st is the one when FC Cincinnati comes back to Geodis. They got us twice last year. Mm. Yeah. But we got them, though. We got them, though. Oh, okay. We got yeah, them in the Leagues Cup, though. We got them in Leagues Cup. Though. Yeah, we got them in Leagues Cup. <laughs> the the MLS, the they got us twice. They swept us in the regular season. That's not going to happen this year. Nice. That's my yeah. grudge match because we don't one. sing Cincinnati in the middle of the bonfire for no reason, <laughs> right? You know, Yo. <laughs> we burn true, in man. them. That's that revenge match right there. Yeah, see, I like I like where your head's at too. Like, see, both of y'all have a couple of games that I'm watching. Mm. Um, what you in got? fact, I'm I, I'm very excited. I'll tell you what I got. I love these. <laughs> so first game I am excited about, honestly, is going to be the uh, Inter Miami game at Inter Miami. Uh, we held them. Um, we held them to a to a draw last year in Miami. Mm-hmm. This year, I want to see us take it. I do want to. Yeah. Were we the only them. team? I actually forgot to look at the end of the season. Were we the only team that held them scoreless when Messi played? When Messi was playing, uh, I think we were the only know. team that held them scoreless. I think we're the only team that held him scoreless. I don't know if we are the only team that yeah, held easy, him. Easy, easy, easy. Hey, hey, hey. Messi's listening, bro. Relax. <laughs> don't, don't, don't. Uh, he ain't listening. <laughs> you know, we ain't that important. Keep, keep saying, you know, but DL, I will bro. say this. I will say this. I am excited about that game. I really am. Uh, my two, I've got two grudge matches. What uh, you got? And, and my first grudge match, we, we just kind of talked about it, is going to be February 25th. It's the home opener against the New York Rebels, the team that was the last yeah. team in Geodis in the regular season to beat us. And it happened on the very last day, decision day. I was not so a okay last with that. MLS it, regular uh, season to the first MLS. Dude, it was it was to, tough, man. It was tough. And it was a rough time going into yeah. that game. It was a rough time seeing how we like literally limped out of the season. All we of us as the fans felt leave. defeated at that point. Cause what we we, we lost five out of our last six matches, something like that. Yeah. And so it that was, one was, was just bad. icing on the cake. We knew what the season looked like. We have to go into that game angry and ready to yeah. show up, dude. It I don't think they. I don't think they could do it, bro. That's, 
of the year. It's our first home game of the year. We it's, got the depth. It's now. the first Let's home see. game, and then the second game two days after they play Mocha FC. That's why I'm saying, I, it's, I, yo, it's, it's your grudge after. match, but I'm just it's saying, just don't like set yourself Wednesday up for Saturday pain, bro. Game. It's Don't a set yourself up for disappointment. Game, we've man. won. We've won back to back like that before. This is the beginning of the season. That we're would be have, incredible. We're going to have plenty of rest leading into these. I think we can. Eat, I think we can go in and win that game. I want to see that happen because it has to start us off knowing that we aren't taking what we, you know, got handed to us at the end of last season. We're mm-hmm. not taking it anymore. We've got to come back into we're this harsh, and we're going to have to come into this in a big way. That, so that's yeah. number one. My second grudge match, and and Tunji, you talked about you know the May 18th game, but I'm more concerned about our September 14th game down the season in Atlanta in Mercedes because I'm not going to look at us to <laughs> lose. To lose a game <laughs> four to nil, we have never lost by yeah. that. Was the worst loss yeah. in never National lost. SC history. It's the worst <laughs> loss in National SC history, and and it happened in their house. Not going to take and it. We had already we had already solidified. Weren't you there on that day? I we were there. both there, you man. Oh, you were there too. Was there. We were oh, both man, there. And it was, this is per- this real not, personal for y'all, bro. I don't want it. I don't want to see it happen again. We are going to take that back from them. They, okay. they, I'm going there again, and I'm gonna watch it. Wow! Yeah, I, love, I love my boy Dax. Aggressive. I love my boy Dax. <laughs> but we're gonna come into that game hot. We're gonna come into yeah, that game man. ready, and it, sh- it, it that game right there is actually gonna be one of the first games. It's not the first game, but it is gonna be one of the first games back after Leagues Cup, and that sh- has to show us where we are sitting after mm-hmm. Leagues Cup at this point. Because again, we drafted for depth. We traded and 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 signed and built our team around having new depth and we have I mean, to be we're going to be tired that. after that long lease cup run we again, have you know? to be able to <laughs> prove that yeah again this year let me let me ask you this though if dax mccarty <laughs> scores the winning goal in both of those games oh my god would you be why, able to look you- at dax in his eyes Without, you know what I mean? Without having to lower I, your I'm, head in shame and I'm how we sure. how we treated him. <laughs> no, because uh, here's the thing. I'm not going to. Do we give him the belt? Do we just give head. him the belt automatically? It's, no, it's it's Ian. If Atlanta gets the it's, belt, then it's, Dax, it's Dax is the one that gets to carry it. It's Ian and it's Gary. Those are the two guys who have to hang their heads in shame and hand that belt over to him. <laughs> I don't know, bro. It's not us. The supporters <laughs> We didn't do that. Around. Yeah, you're right. You're right. I'm a, I with that. We forced the front office to pass it over. <laughs> yeah. Force the front office to make him hold it. But no, it's going to stay in Nashville for a third year in a row. This week. Yes, right it here. is. Yeah. Yeah, yes, we're going to three peat it. It's going to be easy because there's Ooh. no way. There's no way. We will be the first DC, ever three peaters then. Regardless of the fact that DC now has a head coach. <laughs> that it's only been around is twice. From, is from Nashville. <laughs> He's a Gary assistant. DC is not going to beat us with a Gary assistant. <laughs> you know, Atlanta is not going to beat us with and and Dax McCarty. If you hear this, please understand. I'm only joking when I say this. Uh, Our sloppy seconds. Yeah, you it's not are gonna happen. being wild. And right Charlotte's now. never going to be able to beat us that because they haven't been able to Dax do disrespect it <laughs> in our house. So that's not going to happen. We are going to go in. We're going to trash all three of them. Wow. And we're going to keep this belt. I like it. It's going to be like so it. easy. No, I like it, bro. That's that's. I, I'm not. I'm telling you, man. You gotta watch out for Dax. Like you gotta start looking. Well, that's what I said. Like you know, looking I, over your shoulder. Well, that's why I preface it. Dax is not. I'm not. I don't mean this. I'm just joking. But <laughs> sloppy seconds. No, I'm ready bad. for this. I'm ready for a giant year ahead of us. The largest soccer year that Nashville has ever had to face. It is going to be a long, drawn a out. Game. A lot of games. It's gonna be a lot of soccer, y'all. Up, and I'm ready for <laughs> a it, whole man. lot soccer, of soccer. Oh yeah, like, bring it on! I'm ready for all the soccer. Austin, do us a favor, man. Take us out. All right, guys. Well, that is a wrap for another episode of Mixtape Six One Five Podcast. Episode fourteen. So, fourteen. Yeah. Episode fourteen. Um, so big love to all of you guys for sticking with us, listening. We could not do this without you guys. So uh, keep 
subscribe and keep liking keep rating us so we love all of that guys a big shout out also to our producer uh doug branson you are the mvp hey, bro absolutely. we love doug. you thank you for making this we happen for us and don't forget to stay connected guys don't forget to stay <laughs> what is it in the mix because yeah, this year we are running this pitch. So we hit us up at mixtape615.com. We are finalizing those scarf designs. They are looking so, so toasty. So they toasty. Are, I, my it's, it's, so clean. Finalized. it's finalized. Magnifique. Hit us up on our socials, Instagram, Facebook, X. You can find us at Mixtape615. And for all of our video content, you know where to find us at Mixtape615Pod on YouTube. So keep it real. Keep it vibing. And until next episode, guys, it is Mixtape615 signing off.